literally just had to drop some stuff off. And now I'm headed back home. I really wanted to take a nice little walk today. It's kind of cold, kind of not. But yeah, I think I'll record again when I'm back in the house. It's always nice when you take your time to do something for somebody and they just really, that train is rude, but they just really appreciate what you do for them. So nice. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in with you guys. It's been like a couple of days. It's a lot of stuff going on i feel like i've just been mentally super duper exhausted but i wanted to show you guys this little present i got last night i didn't get to open it yet i kind of like peeked through the bag but i didn't open it open it so let me grab it anyways so i got a little present from Bay. Okay, so I don't think I ever really got into it, but Bay is somebody that I've been, well, I used to date. I dated him a couple of years ago and it did not work out. And um, I don't know, I guess we're just trying to see where it goes at this point. And I, don't, I do see the difference in him. Like he's definitely not the same from we dated. When we dated, he was a fuck boy. He was completely not even ready to be in a relationship it was not where it was supposed to be we dated on and off for a couple of years it was not working but this time around it's still pretty early but i definitely see the changes in his mindset i feel like he's a little more stable i feel like his career is going very well for him and i feel like i can see him do so much more in his career um and i don't know i just feel a little different this time with us dating but we'll see what happens. Anyways, so let me show you what he surprised me with. I thought this was so cute. I haven't really taken it out. I actually went to Trader Joe's yesterday and bought a bunch of wine and he just so happened to surprise me yesterday with a bunch of chocolates that you pair with wines. I thought that was so, so cute, so sexy. Love it such a cute gift it's from he got it from new Haas. i don't know how you say that new Haas. you can see that right there someplace probably out in new york city he wrote me the cutest little card i thought it was such a sweet surprise and he also added these little trinkets into the bag little pieces of chocolate they all have like different flavors this is so cute and it's funny because i just so happened to here we go i just so happened to buy a bunch of wine yesterday so that was just worked a little bit but yes this is the name of the chocolate place if you guys want to look it up i'm pretty sure it's in new york city he works out in the city so there you go but this is so cute when I open it up, I'm definitely going to show you guys what it looks like. Here's the name again. What it looks like on the inside. But yes, I thought this was so sexy, so cute, so nice. Here we go. I don't know if I want to open it up tonight or should I wait? Hmm. Should I do it tonight or should I wait? It's Saturday today, guys. Yesterday was Friday. I say it was Friday. Yeah, yesterday was Friday. Um, I think I'm gonna have the clip earlier in this, or maybe the vlog before, where we went out to La Silla, which was like a kind of like an Asian fusion place where they had a bunch of skewers, and then the skewers had that's my Instacart guy. Anyways, the, the skewers had just like every meat that you could think of. They had lamb, beef, chicken, squid, chicken wings on skewers. It was actually really flavorful, and they also had seafood. I got a bag of crab legs. They were pretty good nothing too crazy um the drinks were okay it was cute but i'm not running back like it was a great experience it was nice the waiters were cool um it's very like narrow and small in there i probably wouldn't run back to the place but it was a really dope experience i'm trying to figure out if i want to do this now since i bought that damn wine 
and it's Saturday. I kind of don't want to do it tomorrow because I'm going out tomorrow and then I have to wake up early for work on Monday. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I wonder if it gives you, oh, okay, so at the back of this tells you what kind of chocolates they are. It's six different praline flavors invented for wine. And then I guess they tell you which one goes with which type of wine. This is so cute. You know, I think I'm gonna save this for like date night or something. And I'll try it with him. So I can put that away. I really want to talk to you guys though because I am really stressed the fuck out about my job. Um, I just feel like, should I go this way? Okay, so I just feel really stressed out about my job. I know like this is the economy sucks and I know everybody's like, you should be grateful you have a job and I understand that, but I'm just at a place where I am like extremely unhappy. Like I swear to you guys, like my work emails will ring and I just feel my heart just like pumping like, I just get so much anxiety when I just even hear my work emails go off during the day. It's just like an alarming, like, it's just super duper stressful. So to start from the beginning, I basically, I work at a corporate job. Uh, I'm not doing anything amazing. I'm not doing anything amazing at the job. I work out in Manhattan. Um, again, I'm not doing anything amazing. I have like a bunch of clients that I work with in my department um, to start like I said from the beginning, originally when I started the job, there were about seven of us. Like along the lines, there were about seven of us in my department. So going from seven people to now three of us doing the work of seven people is a lot. It's a lot of work. It's constant stress. On top of the, the crazy amount of work that we have, we are the only department with three people. We're doing seven people's jobs for the same pay that we started with. Okay, so I, I know you guys can imagine how fucking stressful and annoying that shit is, right? So we're doing the job of 7S3. There are deadlines. There are a million clients. There's, a, there's just so much coming at us at a time all day. Do this. And then on top of that, the company wants to have these random fucking training sessions. So imagine you're doing the job of three people doing seven people's jobs. You have so much shit to do. You have deadlines to make. And then you have to stop throughout your fucking day to do bullshit training sessions and then still have to do the work. It's very, very, very stressful right now. Um, and honestly, a lot of people in my job are very stressed out because a lot of the departments don't have, you know, as much people as they used to have. But our department is basically the worst, right? So um, I'm just so fucking sick of it. And to bring it back, so my boss, she was the director. Um, I was basically like her second person in command. If anything happened, I had to learn her accounts, her people. Um, I would back her up with her work and so she decides out of nowhere to retire, right? She was one of those people like, you're never gonna retire and she just got to the point when COVID hit and she's like, I'm getting the hell out of here while I'm still healthy and I don't want to have to come into an office and deal with this type of stuff. I don't want to be stressed out. I want, I'm in my 60s. I want to enjoy my life while I still can. She dips out. Okay, so as she leaves, they ask her, you know, for a couple of things that she wants to do like, um, Basically, like, where do you see your department going, leaving without you? Who do you want to be next in line? I wasn't next in line because I'm the newest person in the department. There was somebody else there. She's our new boss now. She's absolutely amazing. I love her. Um, but what she recommended for me was to get a promotion. So she had already been pushing for me to get a promotion as she left. And then one of her last requests was for them to give me a promotion. So long story short, she leaves. Silence. Hear nothing. Promotion season comes. I hear nothing about it no one ever brings up this promotion i'm like okay so review season comes and now i have a new boss at this time and even though she's new i was like you know i want to bring up the fact that i think i deserve this promotion i haven't heard anything of it and i know for a fact when our previous boss left she wanted me to get a promotion what happens you hear nothing uh, um 
uh, no, for, from her end, she actually agreed with me to take a step back. My new boss agreed with me. And she even says that she knows I deserve this promotion because we were colleagues. We, she, we worked together. She saw my workload. She knows what I do. She even agreed that I deserve the promotion. So she also puts in for me to get a promotion. So promotions have to go through in our department, this VP guy. Long story short, this VP guy has his top five people and you can see him throughout the year slowly pushing these people up and they've all moved up the ladder. These people he's brought over with him in his old company. He didn't start off in our company. He came a couple years ago and basically brought people with him and those people have been moving up with their career, making a lot more money. Anybody else that comes up and kind of wants a promotion, it's kind of real funny and, and there seems to be issues when it comes to anybody else, minus his group of people, right? Everybody at their job has their favorites. Like, we're not going to act like every company doesn't have it. It is what it is. People have their favorites, people that they want to work with, people that they want to promote. It is what it, what it is. At this point, both of my bosses have put in for a promotion for me. And he's pretty much just ignored the request. My new boss has been pushing it. Like, what's going on? I feel like she deserves this promotion. And he basically tells her, oh, you're too new to decide that. So now HR gets involved. And HR is basically on my side and they say, you have not given a valid reason as to why she does not deserve a promotion. And telling her boss basically that she's new is not valid either. Long story short, I finally have a sit down with him and I can tell going into the meeting that he pretty much didn't want to give me the promotion, right? Okay. So you don't want to give me the promotion. He had already had his nose. It wasn't even a conversation. He had already come in set with his reasons as to why he doesn't think I deserve them. And I had already come in knowing him. I've seen him. I know how he works. And I already had a rebuttal to all of his reasons, right? So right now, at this point, it's been about maybe three weeks since we've had the conversation. And um, it kind of ended off where it is what it is. That's your decision. Well, okay um left the meeting and then now he's trying to bring it back up but i'm just at the point to be honest where i'm just like i just need to get the hell up out of here like i've been at this company for five years i started off one year in a different location and then the last four years i've done at this location and i just feel like four years and you're telling me that and i know i have put in the work I have put in the work. Both of my bosses have even said that I deserve this promotion and he still refuses to give it to me. At this point, I'm kind of like, well, I'm not begging you for a promotion. I need to figure out what I want to do with my career and move on because clearly, <laughs> clearly uh, you don't think that I deserve it. Like, like I said, when I went into the meeting, he already had his rebuttals as to why and none of his re rebuttals were valid. I'm not even going to get into it. It's going to piss me off, but he had nothing to say that was valid. Um, I'm just very frustrated. I'm at the point where I'm just like, <sighs> I don't want to make any rash decisions because I'm upset but I also know what I'm worth I know they're not paying me what I'm worth I know that we're three people in our department doing seven people's jobs for the same amount of money okay sorry my Instacart person is here but anyways so it's it companies pay what they think that you're worth and clearly this company doesn't think that I'm worth what I'm worth so I just need to make good decisions and I think I just need a plan at this point and just get the hell out of this company and do what I have to do because clearly I'm not staying at a company six seven eight years in the same position you're wasting my time now now I'm 32 years old I was I came when I was 20 so I'm 32 years old now and you're still not offering me anything you're not offering me any more money you're not you're now telling me that I'm not even worth the most basic of promotions the, the next step after four years yeah no I'm just I just want to be smart about it because I'm just coming to the point where I'm just like <laughs> y'all pissing me the fuck off I'm about to walk out this bitch type shit like that's where I kind of am like Steph rent is due don't be stupid anyways um I'm trying not to make any rash decisions but I'm just very frustrated with this company um I just don't feel like I can go any further. I don't feel like I'm going to move ahead. 
I'm just extremely frustrated so and I'm just gonna see what ends up happening um I just want to be smart again like I don't want to make any rash decisions um I've already made down my resume I'm looking at places now I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do I really don't want to work for anybody else I really want to work for myself to be honest I don't want to clock in like I'm, I'm just over it I don't want to clock in and make somebody else rich I want to make myself rich I want to make my own money um so yeah we'll see what happens in the upcoming weeks but i definitely need to figure this out by the time summer hits i need to know what's going on when i say summer like july because i signed the new lease to my apartment and well not new lease but i've been in my apartment for like three years now i really like it i don't love it because there's just things that i don't like about my apartment but um yeah i need more money coming in I need to be doing something that I'm actually excited about, something that I actually want to do. So why is my Instacart guy calling me? Anyways, bye guys.